<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Kitchen Inspirations. My name is Carmelo and I want to thank you for joining us today here at our Sojurushi America Corporation headquarters down in Torrance, California. Today is actually a nice beautiful day here in Torrance and I hope that wherever you are, you are also having a nice, lovely, awesome fall day. Well, without further ado, let's get today's live stream started. So, did you know that you can bring 4th of July home with you any day of the year? You can bring it today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, 10 years from now. And uh, you will also know you will be able to cook these uh, 4th of July foods such as steaks, hot dogs, hamburgers, in addition to other ones such as pancakes, eggs, shabu shabu, okonomiyaki, which you may not have heard of. But uh, you will notice that all these foods have one thing in common and they allow you to have that perfect in-home dining experience. So with that said, um, the first thing uh, that I do want to say is that we, of course, offer these perfect in-home appliances such as grills, griddles, skillets, fish roasters, and another one that I'm excited to show you about. So make sure to stick all the way until the end and find out what it is. So with that said, you might be thinking, a grill, griddle, and skillet, hmm, aren't those outdoor experiences? And well, you're right, but they can also be indoors with what I'm going to show you. So with that said, you might be wondering, what is the difference between a grill, griddle, and a skillet? And I'm glad you asked because it's one of those questions that not a lot of people are 100% sure about. You might either be kind of using them interchangeably, you're not 100% sure. You might not even have thought of what the difference is until now. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of similar to one of those questions like, what's the difference between the CV Ocean, you know, the university, and a college, an Oxenay Bowl, right? You never really think about those. So with that said, I'm going to ask that question at you. I want you to tell me right now in the comments, what is the difference between a grill, griddle, and skillet? So I will be checking right now. Okay, let's see. And of course, just if you, if you know, if you don't know, if you don't know, just be like, I don't know, actually, I want to find out, do tell me. So of course, and I'll be, of course, happy to tell you. Alrighty. So, with that said, how is everyone's Monday going? Is it going well? Is it, you know, is it, is it a Monday? Is it, you know, are you free? Are you not free? Okay. Well, alrighty. So, with that said, the first thing that I'm going to answer are grills. So, what is a grill? Well, traditionally, a grill is a cookware that has a metal framework in between the heat source and the food. So it goes like this. The food is on top, the metal framework of bars are, is in between, and then at the bottom is the heat source, which is usually charcoal, gas, or electricity. Okay? So, uh, with that said, you will know which foods are grilled because it has those, uh, the food has those nice, delicious grill marks from the bars that we all know and love, you know? Whenever you go to your favorite, uh, you know, relative's house for the 4th of July and you make an awesome barbecue, you eat, you know, your hot dogs, your steaks, your hamburgers, you know, they're most likely using a grill. So with that said, what differentiates Sojurushi grills with traditional grills? And I'm glad you asked. In order to answer this, I kind of have to tell you a little history of our company. So Sojurushi is in fact a, a Japanese company and in Japan, especially in the cities like Tokyo, there is not a lot of space to do outdoor grilling in your front or backyard. That is why a lot of people do and opt, you know, to have these grilling experiences indoors, which is why all of our grills are strictly electric. With that said, um, we have two grills. The first one over here is the EB DLC 10. So this one, as you can see, it kind of has this like a black base over here with silver lining kind of all around. It's very nice. It goes well with any kitchen. And uh, let, let me show you the next one over here in the close-up camera. So this is our EBCC15. As you can see, um, it is kind of this uh, nice uh, sleekish brown here for the base. And the grill plate is actually stainless uh, black. So. With that said, the biggest difference between these two, besides the size, which I'll get into right now, is the, the guard right here. So as you can tell, it is not as big as this other one over here. So this other one has a bigger guard. And actually, let me move it over here to the close-up so you can kind of see. So you can see the guard is a little bit more thicker. So there you go. All right, and the cooking surface for this is about 14, uh, 18 by 12 inches. 
Over here, it is just a tad bit smaller um, over here for the EPCC 15. Okay, but besides that, you could cook the same foods. You could, of course, grill your meats, your chicken, your pork, your beef. You could cook your seafoods, your fish, um, your shrimp, whatever it is, you could, of course, grill it on here. And, of course, your vegetables, your corn on the cob, your asparagus, whatever it is you want to grill, you could have it right here. And, of course, you can make those delicious 4th of July foods any time of the year, all using this grill. Okay, so with that said, there are a lot of similarities between these two grills. The first one is that the, the plate, the grill plate, is actually made of titanium and ceramic enhanced nonstick coating, which is perfect for, of course, you know, ease of use and for cleaning it up afterwards. Because it's nonstick, it'll just kind of wipe off, okay? So, with that said, um, how do we start it? So, I want you to imagine it is Friday night. You are at home with your friends, your loved ones, your partner, whoever it is, you are home with your loved ones. And you are dying to eat steak. You know you want your tri-tip, you know you want your barbecue ribs, whatever it is. However, it is 6 p.m. and your favorite steakhouse is jam-packed. Not to mention that it's about 20, 30 minutes away. So you're gonna have to drive there and then wait an hour to eat steak. So, lucky for you, you have one of these grills and you have a lot of meats and vegetables that need to be eaten. So, how do we do this? So, in order to prepare this, let me just show you really quickly over here. There is three parts to this, okay? And of course, these grills is assembled for perfect uh, ease of use and uh, you know storage later. But there is the base. Once the base is on the tabletop, on your table, wherever it is, you will go ahead and insert the drip tray onto, you know, into the base, followed by the grill plate. Once you do that, you're halfway done, right? So it's pretty simple, right? Next, go ahead and get your temperature dial, which kind of rotates, you know, for the temperature. And uh, you can see that there is a power cord right here, which actually extends like five, six feet in length. So you can have your grills, you know, very far from the table, and you can still actually have, you know, you can cook on your table without moving your table around and it just allows for the perfect dine-in experience. Okay, so what do you want to do? As you can see right here, actually, I'm going to show you in the close-up over here. There is this kind of a probe right here that you can insert, you know, into the base of the grill. So we do this because it is a safety feature. We don't want anything bad, of course, to happen with you and uh, the product. So what do you want to do is you want to insert this in properly. And you know you inserted it properly when you hear a click sound. So let's let's see if you can hear it, all right? All right. So as you can see, I'm having difficulty and that means that it is not set properly. So you go ahead and put it. All right, let's see if, I, if we could do this now. Did you hear that? That was a nice click sound. Once that happens, you know it's inserted properly, you can go ahead and plug it into the wall, okay? Once that is said, you're almost there. So, you're ready to have this, of course, barbecue experience at night, you know, anywhere in your house. So go ahead and turn the temperature dial all the way to high. And we wanna do this to, you know, preheat the grill. Do this for about five minutes. Once those five minutes are finished, you can go ahead and grab your, you know, your filet mignon, your tri-tip, your ribs, your whatever it is you have in your fridge, go ahead and throw it on there. You can, of course, throw in your skewers, whatever it is, just kind of start cooking it, putting it there, and of course, grilling it all at home. And once it's finished, you kind of go ahead and eat it right there and then, allowing for, you know, a perfect in-home dining experience. And if you're not familiar with this type of grilling, if you've ever been to like a Japanese barbecue restaurant or a Korean barbecue restaurant, they have these grills. It's pretty common. And of course you can just grill and eat, allowing you for, you know, to share the fun of grilling and eating at the same time. So with that said, this goes the same for the, the, the one over here, the EBCC 15. It's very fun. And just like that, your Friday night is over. You just had a delicious uh, barbecue experience at home. How does it feel? Pretty good, right? Yes, yeah, so with that, uh, you'll be able to have these experiences all year round. Okay, so these are our grills. If you have any questions at all, do let me know in the comments right now. I will be checking.
All right, Ryan Headings, thank you very much. Grilled veggies, yes, you could grill veggies, fish, uh, beef, whatever it is, you could grill it on there. Okay, so with that said, uh, if you do at all in the future, you know, there's a lot of information and you don't know or you want me to confirm or anything, just do let me know below. But with that said, I do have a, a frequently asked question. Like a lot of people, when they use these grills for the first time, they don't know for how long to cook meats. And uh, it really depends on the meat that you cook. It might be, you know, like a little thick or, or it might, you know, be a big slice. It, it really depends. And of course, these meats require different temperatures and different, uh, you know, time settings. So with that said, I'm just going to show you this quick uh, chart on the screen. So you could just kind of get this quick reference point of how to use these grills. As you can see, it goes anywhere between four and 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. So moving away from our grills, the next question we might ask is, what is a griddle? And uh, okay, so we first need to answer that. Uh, traditionally, a griddle is a uh, cookware that has metal framework in between the heat source and the food, very similar to the grills. However, instead of having bars running in between the metal framework, it is just a flat closed surface. So if you've ever go to your, or whenever you go to your favorite burger joint and order your favorite burgers, that restaurant is most likely using a griddle. But if you still don't understand, then just imagine this big rectangular frying pan. That's what a griddle is. Alrighty, so what differentiates traditional griddles with our griddles? Once again, our griddles are strictly electric. So we have two griddles and let me show you over here really quickly. This is our first griddle right here. This is the EA BDC 10. So as you can see, it kind of is this, uh, this nice uh, blackish on the base. And it has this kind of, uh, it's a little blackish, a little gray right here for the lid and as well for the uh, you know, grill plate as I, as I will show you later on. Okay. So that is our first uh, griddle. The temperatures in this one range between 176 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving on to our second griddle over here. This is the EA DCC 10. As you can see, this also is, uh, well, actually you might not be able to see it that much, but it is, the base is a nice kind of black in the bottom and a nice little, uh, it has silver lining around. So let me actually lift that so you can see it. Better. There you go. There's a silver lining around. Okay, so with that uh, said, uh, it's very similar to this other one. However, the big, uh, a bigger difference is that right here, the shape is more rectangular than the other one around over here. So actually, let me bring it over here so you could kind of see this other one. It is more circular. It is more round. So that is a, a big difference between these two. The cooking surface for this one is about 14 by 13 inches. And uh, the cooking surface for this one is about 18 by uh, 11, 12 -ish in inches. Okay. However, the biggest difference and probably what will differentiate whether you buy this one or this one is that the EA BDC 10 comes with an option to purchase a takoyaki plate. So what is takoyaki? Well, let me first show you the takoyaki plate. So this right here is the takoyaki plate. As you can see, there is a 26 count of like little balls right here that you could insert. As you can see right here, there is this little ball you could kind of insert. So takoyaki, what is takoyaki? Well, takoyaki is a dish based from Osaka, Japan. And if you're not familiar with Osaka, you know that it's the second or third most populated uh, city in Japan. It kind of has this rivalry with Tokyo, similar to how like the East Coast and the West Coast is here in the States. But with that said, due to takoyaki's popularity, you can pretty much buy this dish anywhere in Japan. You can buy it in, you know, your cities, your urban places, your uh, rural places, anywhere because it's that popular. Um, so with that said, we still don't know what takoyaki is, right? And I guess the closest English translation we could say is octopus balls. But I'm not a fan of this translation, just mainly because it doesn't sound good. Um, but with that said, I'm just going to show you a picture of what takoyaki is because it's just easier to show you. So there you go. Okay, as you can see, the takoyaki, it is bite-sized, shareable, and doesn't it just look delicious? 
I mean, when I stayed in Japan for eight years, I ate this dish so many times if you could, it really is that good. All right. So that is takoyaki. And uh, let's say you are, you're still just not, a, you're not feeling octopus. You're not a fan of octopus. That is okay. You could, of course, substitute this takoyaki because takoyaki is so versatile. You could, of course, make different kinds of takoyaki. Instead of the, the, the octopus, you can just put your favorite meats, your chicken, your beef, your pork, your cheese. If you just, you know, want, you could throw away the, the meat altogether for you vegetarians and vegans out there. It really is that good. The end product is still the same. Delicious, shareable, and fun. Okay. So with that said, that is the takoyaki plate. If you do like takoyaki, then definitely check uh, the EA EDC 10. But with that said, the rest remains relatively the same. So as you can see, both of them have lids, this one over here and this one over here. So remember round, rectangular, okay? And uh, they both include a diamond pattern and let me show you over here. You might be able in the close-up really quickly. You kind of have, you might not see, but there is a diamond pattern uh, right there. Kind of has this diamond pattern uh, base to it, which is titanium and ceramic enhanced non-stick coating. There you go. You could check the diamond patterns very nicely. Okay. So of course this is perfect for your uh, ease of use and. Um, you know, just cleaning everything up. Alrighty, with that said, how do you use these griddles? Similar to our grills, you have to, of course, place it on the countertop. So once it inside your table, you are ready to go. Next up, I want you to imagine, you know, you had your perfect steak uh, dinner yesterday at, you know, Friday night. Now it's six in the morning. Let's say if you're an adult, you know, you had a few drinks, of course, with your, uh, with your steak and now you are not feeling uh, very well now you want some greasy food and you want your all-american you know breakfast uh, so we're gonna prepare that of course if you're a minor you just of course you like all-american breakfast all around so that's what we're gonna prepare and of course you have your eggs your pancake mix your hash browns your your bacon your sausages all in the fridge because you have that all year round right so you go ahead and put, similarly, put the base on the table. And once that is set, it does come with a three piece. So let me just show you this really quickly. Instead of the drip tray, we're gonna wanna put this heat, this heater set. And this right here is the, the heater, the electricity that's just gonna heat up the griddle plate. So once you insert it right there, go ahead and put the griddle plate on top and you're halfway there. Of course, you want to remove the lid. Make sure you don't start heating the, the griddle with the lid on. And very similarly, you have your temperature dial with your power cord. Again, it extends pretty, pretty far. So let's see really quickly right here. You see, it extends pretty far. So, of course, you can have your table far away from your uh, wall plug. And you can still, of course, grill you know, using this uh, griddle. It's perfect for that in-home dining experience. And I do want to note really quickly now, that since we have our grill and our griddle, these things are very similar in shape and size and of course slugs. However, inside, inside these bad boys is way different. The watts that power the electric electricity to go into here is way different. So you always want to make sure that you're using the right one. And you know, because it'll just show you right here the, the number, okay? And actually, let me show you to the close-up really quickly so you can see. Alrighty, so right here, you can see it says EA BDC only, okay? So that's how you know, okay? So once again, it has a probe and everything is the same. So make sure that it is set to off or zero and then go ahead and plug it in where you want to hear the click sound, okay? Once you hear the click sound, go ahead and plug it onto the wall, okay? So similarly, you want to preheat it for about five to eight minutes. Go ahead and turn the dial off, and now we're ready to make some awesome breakfast. But let's go up to this close-up because we already have some nice breakfast for you over here. So uh, one thing I didn't, I forgot to mention is that this one over here, the EA DCC 10 comes included with this nice stainless steel spatula to make your perfect eggs, pancakes, whatever it is you want to make, all right? 
So, of course, you go ahead and put your eggs. Do you like them scrambled? Do you like them sunny side up? Whatever it is. And at the end, of course, finish it with your nice pancakes. Okay. Well, with that said, you just had a very delicious American breakfast all at your house. How does it feel? Very nice, right? The last thing that we do recommend is that once you're finished uh, cooking, of course, just wipe off any uh, food remains, any uh, burns that, you know, might have stayed in there. And everything that's assembled, of course, for ease of use and for cleaning up. So that is our grills and our griddles. What do you think? Very neat, right? So uh, one thing I do want to mention between the grill and the griddles is that you could pretty much cook anything on griddles that you can on a grill but not the other way around. And how do we know this? We know this because of the pancake test. Well, what is the pancake test? Well, we just saw that we can make pancakes here in our griddle. But try making pancakes on a uh, grill. Yeah, I like to see that, right? So that is a big difference between if you're deciding to buy griddles or grills. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see if you have any questions. If you do, do let me know right now. Okay, Ryan Headings, our, uh, yes, our, our, uh, over here, the EA uh, DCC does come included with a uh, stainless steel spatula. Uh, of course, it is a non-stick, you know, griddle. It, it does have non-stick coating. Um, if we, if you are going to use uh, metal things, we do recommend that you use a spatula only. However, uh, because, you know, if you use metals, they might kind of scrape the, the, the griddle plate and, you know, the chip might come off. So, yeah, with that said, uh, yes. Okay, and I see that one of our lovely staff just answered your question very nicely. Okay, well, with that said, I hope that you are enjoying this. If you are enjoying this, uh, you know, I appreciate you. I would appreciate if you, of course, give us a like, a subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, a notification, you know, so you can always get these uh, live streams when we do go on live. Okay. And of course, we have another question that a lot of people ask. Okay, I don't want to make takoyaki, but can I make anything else with it? And yes, we can. So some things that come into mind are, of course, mini donuts, mini corn dogs, mini uh, desserts, any creative foods that you can think of. You could do it on this, uh, let me bring it over here again, on this griddle plate. But it is a lot easier to show than to tell you, so I'm just gonna show you some quick pictures of our personal own recipes that we have on our sites. So, there you go, okay? And just, so, well, I do wanna mention that for any of our appliances, you know, our griddles, our grills, our rice cookers, whatever it is, we have so many recipes on our site that you could just check out of course for free for you to have the best experiences at home of course you would just have to go to our website go under the recipe tab and you're set to go there's literally a lot of uh you know days worth of recipes okay so moving on to our next items which is our skillets so the first question we have to ask what is a skillet well traditionally a skillet was a cookware that is round and has high walls Okay, so, um, and uh, the cooking surface is actually flat. So traditionally, it was very similar to a frying pan. So just imagine a frying pan. And traditionally, you can also cook them on the stove top. And after you're done with the stove top, you could put them in the oven where you could just bake uh, foods. So how do this differentiate from our skillets? Well, for one, you cannot put these in the oven. However, you can put them on the stove top, which I'll explain later. So with that said, we have three models. The first one, let me bring it over here, is actually, actually, let me take this grill off the table. <clears throat> let me show you over here. Okay, so this is the EP uh, PBC 10 right here. As you can see, we have some nice, delicious, uh, you know, uh, shabu shabu slash uh, sukiyaki, you know, ready for you right here. So, this is our first one, the EPPBC10. Moving on to the next one over here, let me just show you. This is the EPPFC20. So, we actually have three. This is the next one. And as you can tell, it's this nice grayish 
a white here for the base. And I forgot to mention to you over here the, the color for the first one. The color is actually a nice beige, okay? So it's a nice beige. Okay, so this one, of course, the first one, moving off to the close-up, is a nice beige-like color. Right there, you can tell you, right there. Okay, there you go. Moving on to the second one, it is a nice grayish white. And last but not least, this is our third one, the EPRAC50. This one is a nice white, however, with a nice silver lining all around the skittle, skillet. Okay, so with that said, most of these are very, very similar. You could cook the same foods, of course. However, the biggest difference between these is the pans that it comes with. So let me show you again to the close-up over here. This one comes with a D pan that is about 10.5 inches in diameter. And it is about two inches, two inches in depth, okay? So this is of course perfect for uh, any kind of hot pots that you wanna make, any stews, any cheese fondue, you can do it all right here. Moving on to the next one over here, the EP PFC 20. This one comes with a D pan. However, this D pan, it is 10.5 inches in diameter and three inches in depth. However, it comes with a divider, as you can see over here in this close-up, right here. Perfect for yin yang hot pot. And of course, shabu shabu, anything that you want to make to soup basis, you could do it right here using this. In addition, it also comes with a griddle plate, a grill. So let me show you in the close-up really quickly. It comes with two, all right? So here it is. So this portion is kind of, it kind of mimics the grill, perfect for, uh, you know, grilling uh, steak, meats. And this side is perfect for, you know, grilling vegetables. Okay, so you can see it's a lot, a lot, um, you know, more flat than the deep pan. So this is the EPPFC20. Moving on to the EPRAC50. It also includes two pans. So the first one, it is a deep pan, similar to the EPPBC10. It is just bigger, it is 12 inches in diameter and um, about 2.5 inches in depth, okay? However, the flat plate, it also comes in, included with a flat plate. So very similar, 12 inches in diameter and you can see that it is a lot more flat for, of course, grilling any kind of meats, vegetables. You could all do it right here. And it also comes included with a steaming basket, which you can, of course, use it to steam your vegetables, your meats, whatever it is you want to do, you can steam it on here. Okay. And, of course, all of these come with a lid, perfect for, you know, speeding up the cooking process. And uh, let's see, some other similarities is that all of them come with titanium and ceramic enhanced plates and pans, of course, for easy cleanup and using these products. So I guess in the end, what it's going to decide if you purchase any of the other ones is if you want to just do like hot pot soups, then of course, go with the EP PVC tan. If you want to do a, you know, yin yang, kind of have that divider, definitely go with the EP PFC 20. Or if you just want to do a, you know, a little mixture of both, you know, go with the APRAC 50. This one is a lot bigger in diameter. So for more, uh, you know, volume, go ahead. Alrighty, so that is the difference between our skillets. Um, the rest remains relatively the same. So let's say now you had um, your breakfast in the morning because it's Saturday and because you already had a nice, uh, you know, barbecue uh, dinner yesterday and you had your all-American breakfast in the morning. You want to go ahead and grill at home or, I mean, make, make shabu shabu at home. You, you might as well continue the streak, you know, of saving a lot of money and doing things at home. So let's go to the close-up over here really quickly. Okay. So everything is the same. Once the base is on there, you know, you can go ahead and uh, get the D-pan. Go ahead and put it on there, right? So D-pan actually you have the option to put all of the D pans on the stove top and kind of just cook whatever ingredients you have on there. If you want to, you know, preheat your uh, meats, your vegetables, whatever it is, you can go ahead and just put it on the stove top. And then later on, once you do that, you could go ahead and put it on the skillet. And just like that, you are ready to continue. Of course, you want to make sure that the, the lever is set to off. I think I believe is this one off. 
and as you can see, there it is, off. Go ahead and plug in your power cord. So right here, and these power cords are actually very long as well, five, six feet. So they allow you the table to be far away from the wall plug. Once that is set, put um, the, the stock, the water, whatever it is you're putting into the skillet and just kind of, you know, switch the lever all the way to high. Wait until it kind of just boils and that's when you're ready to just kind of eat and, you know, cook at the same time. If your meat is ready to eat, go ahead and take it out, eat it, and share this love with, of course, your family, your friends, with whoever you are. And just like that, you have a nice shabu shabu experience at home. Okay? So, how does it feel? Of course, pretty good, right? You could do all of these, you know, very, um, you could say more expensive uh, restaurant experiences all in your house for a fraction of the price. So, with that said, that is how we use our skillets. If you have any questions right now, do let me know. Yes, it looks so good. Thank you. It is good. I mean, I, I, I love these. I actually have a skillet bag at home. I make shabu shabu during the winter almost every day. It's, it's really like that good. Okay. Um... Alrighty, and yeah, going back to the differences between a grills, griddles, and skillets, one of the, I guess, ways you could differentiate them is that grills and griddles, they are usually rectangular in shape and very flat, right? However, with skillets, you will notice that they are round and they have high walls. So that is a way to differentiate them. Alrighty. Yes, Ryan Headings, all the hot pot. Very nice. So, with that said, uh, that is our, uh, you know, kind of explanation of what grills, griddles, and skillets are. If you have, you know, really enjoyed this live stream thus far, you know, we would really appreciate if you give us a like, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, or, you know, hit the notification bell if you are watching on YouTube. If you do, I'll show you some delicious food. Did you do it already? Yeah? Okay, well, here are some delicious foods that you can make from our skillets. Alrighty, and as you can see, again, you can just go to our website, get those ingredients, and start cooking all day long, all night long, all year long. Alrighty, so that is it for these. However, we have two more appliances that I briefly just wanted to talk about really quickly because I use these all the time and I love using them. So with that said, let me just quickly put this over here. All right. Put this over here. All right. So this bad boy right here is our EF VPC 40. This is our fish roaster. So I, I don't think that that needs any explanation. A fish roaster is pretty much the name. It is you know an appliance to roast fish. It is a very very nice appliance. I actually didn't eat roasted fish until I went to Japan for the first time and I was 24. So if you're like me, if you're, you know, you're in your you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s and you haven't had roasted fish, I really recommend it. It really is that good. Uh, but with that said, uh, let me just quickly go over these. As you can see, the, the, the bottom over here, the base is a nice black over here with the top being a nice metallic gray, okay? So as you can tell right there, so it's black on the bottom, gray on the top. As you can see, there is a nice easy to view window right here. Whenever you put your fish inside and you close it, you could tell how well it's being roasted, if it's being over roasted. It's just for you to kind of keep tabs on it, okay? So once again, if there is a drip tray included that you put all the way in the bottom. And there are two heating elements, one in the bottom and one over here on the top. Of course, this is perfect for when you put a fish in here, you don't have to be kind of rotating it on both sides to see if it's you know, roasting properly. You know that once you close it, it's heating on the bottom and on the top. You don't have to worry about that. In addition, our uh, fish rack right here, it is reversible. You can put the, sh the deep side for making thicker fish or the shallow side for making thin, thin, thin fish, okay? And just like that, you can go ahead and grill your fish. I do want to note that we do have a uh, filter here on top, which I'm just going to show you over here in the close-up so you can see. Oh, there you 
go, there is a filter on the top, that round thing right there you see, and that eliminates about 90% of odors and smoke, which is of course one of our safety features. We've hired us out in our safety. We of course don't want you to be having all these smokes and fumes in your house. Um, of course, so this eliminates that. Okay, once again, the power cord is very long, perfect for your in-home dining experiences. You can have your table far away and make delicious fish. One thing I do want to note, if you are an adult and you roast fish, this goes really well with beer. Do check that out. Okay, so with that said, how do we make fish? Very similarly to the grills, griddles, and skillets, put it on the countertop, make sure that it is set to off, and we know that it's not because of this turn dial right here. Right here we have a turn dial. Anywhere between one minute to 30 minutes is the turn, uh, the, the minutes you can roast. Once it's in, uh, off, go ahead and plug it into the wall outlet where you can just uh, preheat the grill, or not the grill, the, the roaster I should say, for about five minutes. Once the five minutes have passed, go ahead and just, you know, drop in your fish Whatever it is, you know, your tilapia, your salmon, your cod, whatever it is, it'll grill it. You can go ahead and choose between 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And of course, you can see how well it's roasting in the easy view window. And just like that, you have nice roasted fish. However, I do want to say this is our fish roaster, but does that mean you have to roast your fish only? Of course not. You can roast any meats that you want. You could, of course, do your, your, your uh, chicken, your beef, your pork, whatever it is. You could roast your, your vegetables. This works wonders. But it's easier to show than to tell. So I'm just going to show you some of our recipes. There you go. All right. As you can see, we have a lot. And, of course, you can use this for that. All righty. Ryan Headings. Oh, is this a new product? Uh, this has been out for a while now. Um, yeah, so it's, it is not relatively new, but it is there for you. If you are interested, again, you can buy any of our products at shop.sojirushi.com. And last but not least, I did promise I will show you one more appliance that we do have. That is our multi-cooker. So this bad boy right here, it is the ELCAC 60. We actually made a video just, you know, describing all the foods we can make very recently, I believe sometime in March by one of my, my buddies, Ed. So after this live stream, I recommend that you all check that video out. You'll see a lot of deliciousness that this can do. So just really quickly, I'm gonna talk about what we can do with this. As you can see, it is a nice kind of stainless steel silver all around, right? There's three parts to it. There is the base right here, followed by the followed by the pot. And this pot is about 10 inches in diameter, and it is it has a capacity of six quarts. Okay, so about 1.5 gallons you could put in here. That's a lot of things you could put in here. So uh, there you go. And of course, we have a steaming basket for your steaming purposes. You know your vegetables, your meats, whatever it is you want to steam. And last but not least, our lid right here. This is tempered glass right here. And of course, as you just saw, it is self-standing. So you don't have to worry about it falling or putting it somewhere misleading. So just like that, you can go ahead and put it on top. So multi-cookers, they do many things. As you might know already, they have a lot of options to cook different kinds of foods. But just really quickly, I'm gonna read some that we have right here. So we have the option to saute, sear, simmer, slow cook, steam. You can make white rice, brown rice, quinoa, you can make yogurt. You can just kind of keep everything really warm. You know, this keep warm setting. And I mean, you can do a lot of things with this bad boy right here. So if you are interested in it, definitely check that video out that I told you earlier. It was posted in March. Um, but with that said, I do want to note that the power cord it's not as long as the other ones that we have provided with, but it still does, you know, give you a nice, perfect in-home dining experience. So with that said, I hope that you did learn a lot of things today. Um, if you, you know, did enjoy this, we appreciate it if you just give us a like, you know, keep that going. Let us know that we are doing a good job. Okay, so, alrighty, it seems like there are no questions. And with that, 
I'm going to leave you to your Monday. You know, have a beautiful rest of the week. And um, I guess the holidays are coming, right? November, December. These are perfect for any of your you know, family to get around. And if that's what you want to do, you can buy them at shop.sojirushi.com. Alrighty. Well, everyone, thank you very much. You have a wonderful day and see you next time.